Hey everybody, Nick from Air Major Detailing here. I'm just going to do a quick video on diluting chemicals that are in concentrate form and I'm going to talk briefly about distilled water. So let's start with distilled water. So what is distilled water? Distilled water is water that is boiled. Uh, all of the impurities are left behind in the like process of boiling and the steam rises is captured and then cooled down into what is pure water. So this is just H2O, there's no uh, mineral content. If you were to do a TDS test on it, it would show zero parts per million. It's pure water. Um, how does that apply to detailing? So in detailing, obviously washing with dirty water or contaminated water with a higher TDS um, content is gonna leave water spots if you don't get it off the paint or whatever surface you're using. Um, that's going to lead to damage in the future. It's not a good idea. So what I've been doing since I started this business, which is almost three years ago, I've been mixing every single product with distilled water. I don't want to run the risk of using contaminated tap water or even soft water, which still has mineral content. So I just mix everything with distilled water. These two products here, Chemical Guys All Clean and Chemical Guys Orange Degreaser are my most commonly used products that I dilute. And on the instructions here, it shows uh, different dilution ratios, so there's like the heavy, um, medium, depending on interior, exterior kind of thing, and same with the degreaser. So I found certain chemical ratios to water work really good, depending on what I'm using. So I've, I'm not going to get too into that, but say, for example, 10 parts of all clean. Oh, no, never mind. I got that backwards. <laughs> Don't do that. You'll waste a bunch of product and a bunch of money and damaged product. 10 parts water to one part all clean is kind of a good ratio. Degreaser, I like to go almost uh, two thirds water and one third degreaser. So uh, those are the two. And this distilled water, distilled, um, what should we call it, um, dilution can also apply to other products. So for example, I've got um, double black shine all performance uh, dressing. This on its own is great. I generally, I use it I guess I do use it on its own when it's non-diluted, but lots of times I will dilute it 50-50 with distilled water, and that's what I will use on tires. I found that it extends the life of this product, or at least the shelf life because I don't burn through so much of it, and it just gives me a better looking result. I don't like the overly greasy or shiny look, even though when it's not diluted it still doesn't do that, but I like the diluted one-to-one -one ratio. And then here, I've got bead maker from PNS as well, so why would I dilute a sealant or a spray protectant, it doesn't make much sense. So the reason I dilute this and I dilute it one part bead maker to one part distilled water and I keep that in a separate bottle and when I'm doing a maintenance wash on a vehicle that's either been spray sealed or ceramic coated, I will spray each panel a few spritz with this one to one ratio of bead maker and distilled water before I'm drying it. So this is after it's been washed, fully cleaned. I'll spray it on each panel one to one with this combination, give it a few squirts, then go over the drying towel and it just adds some protection and helps with the drying process quite a bit. So it leaves a little bit of a slicker surface before you even go back to apply a second layer of that, which is just straight undiluted product. And another really, really, really important use of distilled water in terms of dilution is with isopropyl alcohol. So with IPA, you want to use pure water. You don't want to use tap water. The only time really you're using IPA is to strip off polishing residue or oils that are left on the paint after a polishing session. Why would you go ahead and use water that's technically contaminated on an already perfect surface or a polished surface? It doesn't make any sense to me. I mix all of my IPA mixtures. I use a 91%. I mix it uh, two-thirds water to one third IPA and I keep that in a bottle and I use that. There's just no reason in my mind to use anything except for distilled water, especially in that application. Yeah, okay, you might be able to get away with it for some cleaners, but to me, only distilled water. I think I've mixed one or two bottles in my career as mirror image auto detailing without distilled water and that's it. And I've burnt through so much. I've actually got an empty, empty jug right here. So I've burnt through a lot of it but you know what, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So this is just a little whole discussion. I don't know if this is really talked about in the detailing world too much because I know what diluting is, but 
they don't ever they just say water and tap water all over the world is totally different so i like to take that variable out of the equation and strictly just use distilled water yeah that's kind of that thought i'd just put that out there don't see any videos about it i guess now there is one so thanks for watching catch you guys later